Hello everybody and once again welcome to Synonomics. Today I'm going to cover AMD. Yes, you have already tried AMD. Advanced Micro Devices. We all know AMD as a competition for Intel. And they have been competing with Intel for quite some time now on the microprocessor and CPU. But recently they are trying to transform themselves into an AI play not only from the hardware perspective, also from the software perspective. And recently they actually launched one of their GPU chip, M1300X or MI300X, you can call it. And recently the CEO of AMD, Lisa Su, she presented that. And this has 153 billion transistors. Yes, you have heard it right again. 153 billion transistors in this one chip. And this is pretty much designed for the large language models. It is supposed to be one of the competition or a competitor for NVIDIA chip. And Lisa thinks that this is going to be a game changer for AMD. Right now, AMD sees a market of $30 billion in the AI space which she thinks in the next four years, by 2027, that will be $150 billion. Hey, having said that, NVIDIA is the market leader in that with 70% market share in data centers. And AMD, on the other hand, though they have launched it, the production will start next year. So this year, the revenue coming from chip semiconductors will be pretty much zero. I'm talking about GPUs. So NVIDIA leads that space pretty much. And if you look at some other like Broadcom, as I've been talking about, they are pretty much in prominence as well after they have signed. In fact, they have been a partner for Apple for quite some time. The 20% of their revenue comes from Apple. But having said that, even Broadcom, they have only 15% revenue coming from semiconductors. So these guys are pretty much new in that space and NVIDIA leads it. As I was referring to Jeffrey Moore earlier, who talks about technology adoption. So this kind of company like NVIDIA are pretty much like Gorilla and the others just follow them. So the others are coming up. Having said that, AMD itself is a great company and now they are trying to transform themselves into an AI play. So recently they actually acquired Zilinx. Yes, they have acquired Zilinx in 2020, October, in $35 billion share, all share deal. So they have not paid cash. It's only the share deal. So they issued the share for them. And Zilinx is pretty much a uh, player in that space of uh, high performance computing, HPC, and adaptive computing. For some of you who are new to this, high performance computing we can understand is kind of a cluster of computers. It's both supercomputer as well as large computer. So you can just imagine that it's like a cluster with supercomputer and a lot of other servers to do very powerful computing works. It also takes smaller space and much power. So that's the hypercomputing HPC. Whereas adaptive computing is something when you deploy that, it actually adapts to the hardware. So that's something like amazing as well. So anyway, they are by, by this kind of acquisitions, actually MD, as I mentioned, is pretty much positioning into that. In fact, uh, Lisa Su, she, since she joined AMD, in 2012, and when she became the CEO, she has in fact transformed the company. AMD was pretty much behind, it was lagging. She has transformed the company with multiple segments and multiple new products. And we'll talk about that later. So coming back to the point, they see, they also see that AI is kind of a mega trend in the technology space. And all these GPUs are very much positioned for 
the requirement of AI, which is in tra training as well as in inference. So the position for that. Having said that, if you look at the growth perspective, this year AMD has given 100% return. And guys, before I come to that, we all know NVIDIA closed at 430. Yes, you have heard it right, 430, 429.98 to be precise, last night. And that makes it a company with a, a stock with 200% return. 200% return. So, even Intel is trying to get into that space. ARMS, who actually designs all this semiconductor and the chip, they are planning to have a, an IPO, eight to $10 billion IPO, and they want Intel to be the anchor investor for that. So a lot of things are happening in this AI space, which I called gold rush for AI. So let's get back to the financials from the investment perspective for AMD. So when we look at the, the investment perspective, we look at two type of analysis. One is the technical analysis, the movement of the price, and the other is the fundamental analysis. From the techn technical analysis, there's nothing to say if the company, if the stock is moving 100% up, all the indicators will show bullish indications, right? So there's nothing to talk about it. So let's talk about the fundamental analysis. So AMD right now, it closed at $127 last night, and that makes it $205 billion market cap company. Just last month, actually, they, they reported their Q1 2023 earnings and the revenue was $5.4 billion. That was 9% down from last year, which was $5.9 billion. Their gross profit was $2.3 billion, which was 16% down from last year. If you look at their gap margin, gross margin, it was 44%. Again, down from 48% last year. If you look at non-gap margin, where they eliminate some of the one-timers, that was 50%. That was also down from last year, 53%. Actually, AMD said that this is mainly because of the client segment performance. They have not performed very well. At the same time, they have amortized these acquisitions, non-tangible assets. Amortization is okay, but hey, if the client segment is not performing, that's a big issue. If you look at from the profit margin perspective, in fact, from the gap profit perspective, operating profit I'm talking about here, is negative 0.1 billion. Yes, negative 0.1 billion. As compared to 1.1 billion last year, positive. And if you eliminate the one-timers, pro forma, non-gap, it's still 1.1 billion operating profit as compared to 1.8 billion last year. So 40% decline. So guys, when we look at the financials, it's, it's not looking good at any front, neither on the margin nor on the revenue nor in the profit. And this has happened for two or three, two cons consecutive quarters as far as I know. So doesn't look like a great company at this moment. Of course it can it can transform itself as a great AI player, but right now it's kind of not looking great, in my personal opinion. If you look at uh, earning per share that we always talk about, how much one share has earned, actually it has earned negative nine cents. Yes. So the loss is nine cents per share. So you're buying $127 share and actually you're getting minus nine cents earning as compared to 56 cents last year. Even if you look at the gap perspective, it's like 50 cents earning per share as compared to $1.13 last year. So the numbers are looking really not good. That's what I can tell you that. Cash in the books actually is pretty good. $5.9 billion cash and their net debt is around $2.5 billion. They have roughly, if you take the debt into consideration, it's pretty much 3 billion cash there. And the cash was 1% up year over year. So well, they have also given not a very good scenario for Q2. 
they're saying the revenue will be down 19% in Q2. And for the whole year forecast, they're saying it will be either flat or negative. So guys, with this kind of scenario and companies doubling its price in five months, this looks like really a gold rush for AI to me. Having said that, let's not, let's not discount AMD. AMD is a great company from the CPU perspective, from the microprocessor perspective. It has been out there. It's just that, you know, they're trying to transform themselves into this AI play and that's where they're going through this pain. Maybe it can come out with flying colors. Who knows? But right now, for the next one year scenario, it's not looking great. And as I mentioned, even this GPU, MI300X, that production will be next year. So this year, the total AI revenue is just zero as compared to the other players that which, which I have covered already. One, one another thing I'd like to focus your attention towards is they have been diluting their shares, in fact. They're diluting their equity. 10 years back, the total shares issued were 781 million. And right now, it's 1.62 billion. It's more than double. Of course, they gave like 35, 35 billion to Zilinx. That's a different issue. But hey, from 781 to 1.62 billion, right? So is is kind of a huge dilution. So when the when the company dilutes its equities, the shareholders are in disadvantaged position. Right? So I'll explain that in some other day. This is how it it is shaping up in the AMD. Well, if you look at uh, NASDAQ, despite there was a pause in the interest rate last night, but Powell had a very hawkish commentary and that did not please the market. He's saying that there is no guarantee that the rates will be paused. It can increase next quarter. <laughs> next quarter. And he thinks that the, the team thinks that you know, it should be increased twice. So right now because it's 5%, he thinks 5.6 is the optimal to bring the inflation down. So he is actually playing or played what we call googly, right? <laughs> so the market did not like it, but hey, guess what? NASDAQ continued its run. NVIDIA actually closed at 430, all time high. Similarly, some other companies as well had a good run, like Microsoft, Netflix, all of them. One thing I'd like to highlight though, that Tesla was $2 down. So Tesla has actually paused its 14 day continuous run. So it's good or bad, you know, it's time to buy. Having said that, maybe today they'll take a pause because how long they can run. So. These are the great analysis I have given from my perspective. Think about it if you are planning to buy any of these AI stocks. As I told earlier, these are not recommendations. Please talk to your financial advisor for making any investment decisions. If you like this video and like this kind of content, don't forget to share and subscribe. Remember, the goal of this channel is to create financial awareness so that you can analyze the companies yourself, act on it and make money. With that, it's a goodbye from me, your friend, Pankasena. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.